so we're finally doing it, the uh, golden hour. Yay! Just meeting up with Scott now and uh, we're going to take some beautiful pictures of each other. So here we go again. Heading out, the sun's starting to get low in the sky. Hoping that we can get something decent for golden hour. Um, according to uh, the photo pills app, golden hour should be from kind of 6 40 pm through to around 7 40. Judging on where we are right now, it's actually quite golden at the moment. So that might be a little bit off. No, 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 no! So I've just got here and I'm waiting for a certain someone to turn up. Um, he's not late, it's just that I'm early. Scott, I hope he's going to be in a good mood because I'm, I'm late. There he is, look, with his new toy. Right, here we go. There he is, perfecting his... Uh... Show me. Yeah, not bad, yeah, have you got it sorted?
cute photos with my own. So that was a golden hour we've we've managed about how long Scott? Ten minutes? Yeah. <laughs> golden hour. What happened? Yeah. It's uh it's a shame really, but we've managed to get what we needed, I assume. We yet to actually have a look at these when we um when we get back. Um I think the location has a lot to do with it. Should have gone on some kind of hill. Yeah, we picked somewhere that's beautiful. Yeah. But surrounded by trees and it's also in a bit of a valley, isn't it? So yeah. Uh, yeah, I honestly didn't expect it to go down as quick as it has done. Well, that's what time we've been? 20, 20 minutes, just over 20 minutes before it's ducked down behind trees over there. But we've still got some decent light and you could still use this to get some nice pictures, can you? Yeah, yeah. The, the light is still there, and it's transitioning into what the blue hour. Yeah. Um. Oh, okay. If you blur it, delete. It looks quite nice. I've done it just on crest. Dropping down, that's me. <laughs> I've got some area you. And uh, Wilson. Uh, so I actually like that, but it's not officially the um, a golden hour shot, it's just a, a reflection. So what white balance are you shooting in? Do you know what? It's auto. Right. It's just auto. Because that tends to go towards cooler yeah. rather than warmer, doesn't it? So when yeah. you have a look at these, when you get them home, they'll probably look different again. Yeah, but that one is what I expected. So at least we managed to catch the um, the sun on there. So we've um, this is the this is the task. If you remember that Martin set for us. And you know what? My initial feelings at the moment is that we've, well, I don't know, we've, but my initial feeling is that I failed a bit on this one. And, I only, and we haven't even got yeah. the mom yet. Let's have, we'll have to have a look, won't we? Um, but it's a task and we don't have to do it perfect, do we? Oh, well, that's the point of having a challenge. Yeah, isn't it? challenge. We try to do it and see what happens. Yeah. So. Yeah. The light's nice. It's, it is nice. Yeah. It's just not necessarily what we wanted. When, I, when I'm at weddings, I find that um, whilst this light is really good, I struggle sometimes to get people out because they've had their pictures taken. Yeah. And um, what I tend to do is I, I kind of preempt them and I say, I'm going to keep nipping down and nipping out and if there's something nice I'm alright just to grab you quickly and that's that's really the only way that I've been able to do it uh, like you say they, um, they've had their group shots and stuff done they yeah. think they're done but then this is when you've got your nice light isn't it yeah but I'm finding that more and more people are after Candid ones more than anything. Um, you almost feel when you do it, it's like it's a bit of a relief because it means it's a bit easier yeah. for you. Yeah. But it's also you feel in a way like you're missing out, like you're doing them a disservice because you, you've got this beautiful light and a beautiful venue, and you, you're not yeah. taking advantage of it. But at the end of the day, you've got to do what they want you to do, so you can only push so hard. Yeah. It's a tricky one, really, isn't it? Because for us, we prefer to take the stage shots. Oh, I do anyway. I'm the way. Oh, yeah. are, you, are you the other way? I love the candid ones. Yeah. Oh, I like the candid ones, but for me, it's. it's um, I, I think you can be more creative with. And that's exactly what you yeah, do, isn't it? Yeah. This is like when when people have said before, like when we work together, you're very much like your lifestyle magazine, very mm. stylized, posed kind of shots with your, your scenery and everything. 
and I'm very much kind of reactions and, yeah, and yeah. candid, which is why it works well when we do yeah. it together. Um, I struggle sometimes when I'm doing the pose ones to get it to look like what I have in my head. Yeah. And I think that's when I then get frustrated with it. But you can just see the light changing now in the last five minutes. From yeah. When when we were sat here and you could see the, the shadows to now it's Let's see where that dog's gone. Wilson! Where's he gone? What are you eating? Right, so... Uh, let's go back to the studio. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh dear. How did you find it last night? Um, it was alright, it was it was nice. <laughs> I mean I thought that we um I thought we picked the right spot but we failed to um to get the right area with the sun really. I think if we'd have been there uh, an hour earlier. Definitely because in in the b-roll that i was doing on the way up there i was all i was all also saying same as you that um it's the golden hour and it looked really nice and i think i think if we'd have got there half an hour earlier i don't think we would have had any issues i do right i think the app was correct in the actual yeah. timing but i don't think it took into account like the elevation and obviously the surroundings with the trees and everything. Uh, yeah. But I think, the, I mean, I'm happy with the photos that I, I got. Uh, yeah. Didn't really need much editing or anything afterwards so that you can see that golden light on them. Uh, yeah. What do you think we yours, if that's the same? Uh, yeah, I, I, I do actually. I think I think we just literally got it done with about five minutes to spare. And um, because, I, when I was taking pictures of you, for example, you know, I wasn't spoiled for choice. I had, there was two trees, you stood next to one and I was stood next to the other. Yeah. Just to try and, just to try and show the light other than what was on, on you really. Um, but yeah, I thought it was, I thought it was good. I think, I think for the challenge, it's, um, you know, I'm open to criticism anyway. Yeah, I am. I think it demonstrates the light. You know, it might yeah. be the best photos we've done, but it does, it does demonstrate that light, doesn't it? Uh, yeah. I think the more difficult thing is the next challenge. Yeah, I think it is. I mean, with, with the one that we did uh, yesterday, I actually found that the better ones were, well, I don't know if better, but, I actually like the landscape ones that we were doing, you know, with the reflection on the 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 canal. Was it the canal or was that the River Air? I think it was the River Air, wasn't it? Yeah, so I, I'm, I'm a bit torn because I like the ones, like the first, that first shot of mine where you're looking through the trees kind of at the sun. I like, I like yeah. that's not necessarily the shot of Golden Hour, um, yeah. but in the ones of you near the tree. Yeah. I really like those, but I think that's part because of the light and part because of the actual shot itself. I've managed to get you when the camera's not completely up to your face and you're not holding it away as well. So you've got the eye in the shot um, as well as the light. So I kind of like, um, not that it was a pose, but I like the, the shot as it is regardless of the light and then the light just kind of adds to it. Um, yeah, I thought I thought it was quite a good shot that, and um, it definitely did the. It as well, I think we have passed the test. Yeah. If, if it is such a thing, because it was the golden hour, we took a picture in the golden hour, and if if we had have been there all day and would have taken one at midday, it would have been very clear as to the difference between the two. Definitely. So. You know, 
I know we kind of said yes to that. It was. It, it wasn't. It wasn't last minute, but it turned out that it kind of was last minute. Yeah. Like you'd have yeah. a job on and stuff, and we weren't. And luckily, the weather was brilliant anyway. But then it was like, right, let's go do it. And then yeah. we got there and it was like the best light was probably like you say, like while we were actually driving there. Yeah, but the thing is, what we did yesterday was um, the best part of the golden hour, where the sun is actually on you. So yeah. there's nothing actually stopping you from um, taking a picture in the golden hour when the sun isn't on you, because you've still got the nice light and you've still got um you know these kind of soft tones and things like that you don't necessarily have to have the sun yeah and that's i think our, our problem was the shadow from the trees because the sun was the shadows were really long and because the, the abbey is surrounded by trees it kind of limited where we could go but those kind of pools of light that we had we, yeah. it was really nice light yeah it was it was quite good so um, Martin, thank you for your suggestion. Yeah, thanks. So. Um, yeah, I think we're quite good fun actually. And, um, I think it's I think it's better when people do suggest things because I don't know whether I suggest things because I know they're easy um, or or things that I like doing in particular. Yeah, um, uh, the one next week that we've got to do with the uh, the building that is something I've never done no. and it's not something I would even think about doing to be honest with you it's, it's something that I've started to think about now and yeah it's going to be difficult I think yeah because uh, in addition to just going out and taking a picture which is easy for us we've actually got to do some research and try and work out you know um, kind of just the, the theme of what the picture might have looked like back then or um, Absolutely. <laughs> get some idea of the the age of the initial building or... Are you any good at drawing? You are. Are you any good at drawing? Because if it's a really old building, they might not have had cameras, so you might have to get jackal out and, and sketch it. You know what? You've just, you just given me an idea. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you what it is, and I, I might do it anyway, but... In Photoshop, obviously, that's where I was going with this one. There's a few, um, there's a few various options, and there's one which is sketch. All right, yeah. So, so basically, it turns the the picture into. Um, I think there's various type of sketch. I think there is charcoal. There's. Um, there's you, do you know which? Do you know which one ones I mean? I do. Because you can get you can get kind of like an embossed look on one. Right. Uh, tiled look on on one and, and that type of thing, like a in filter library, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. And so yeah. I, I probably shouldn't have said anything now because I don't know where they can actually do that now. You could take it really extreme and just take a picture of a rock and said this used to be a big building and then put that on a, a, a charcoal filter and you done. Yeah. Depends how far you go back. I might take a picture of the ground um, and then um, put it in space like an <laughs> asteroid or a big bang big bang <laughs> right. yeah. I think uh, again I think the problem that we might have is time and trying to get it yeah you think of these things and you think of a good idea without necessarily thinking how long it's going to take you to either drive to the, the place that you want to shoot and then get yeah. up while you've got decent light and get the, the photo that you want. But yeah, I've, I've got some, I've got some ideas ticking away back in my head at the moment. Yeah, I think I need to get my thinking cap on if I can find out where it is. Yeah. Um, just, just to let you know, if you can hear any heavy breathing in in this car, I promise you, there's nothing dodgy going on. Wilson's in the back there. Wilson. Hey, boy. Hey. <laughs> It's like, you want me up? Why do you want me up, Dad? I'm <laughs> getting peeking over the top now. It, even if we're not moving, he's um, he kind of pants quite a lot. Big lad. So, yeah, I'll, I'll get him out in a minute. I'm, I'm a big lad, I don't know, I'm always panting. <laughs> <laughs> do you know something? I was watching the 
uh, the filming that I digested it. And do you know when you'd finished posing next to the tree? Yeah. He is that Eddie that he jumped up on you and he kind of knocked you back a bit. Now he does it with me all the time. But he's a bit of a heavy sod, isn't he? Strong, strong boy, yeah. Yeah. And you're not, you're not, you're not quite prepared for it, so it puts you a bit. Whoa. Yeah. And he nearly knocked that camera out of my hand as well when I was giving that woman that poo bag. <laughs> it, it was going for that other dog, wasn't it? Yeah. Yes. A bit, a bit of context to that. But James got asked by a member of the public if he had any spare poo bags because he had the dog with him, not because he's incontinent or anything like that. It was just, you know, doing a good deed. Yeah, best, best clear that up. Yeah, just to make sure. Because I, I know we're both knocking on a bit, but it's not that bad. Either. It's always it's always handy to have a few uh, poo bags in your bag yeah. bin. You never know. Just, just in case. In case. Um, so, um, so Martin did two good suggestions, which we'll do the one, uh, the other one next week. But if anybody thinks they can better that, or if you've got any crazy ideas or fun ideas or or anything, either either pop a comment on social media, YouTube, or send us a private message. Whatever you want to do, um, and as long as it's not too extreme. Um, we will give it a go definitely and yeah. until next week we'll, uh, we'll see you all then see you later bye, bye.